my father-in-law, M. Mac Earl, who spent a significant portion of his life at the family cottage on the upbound channel of Nebish Island, was the chief naval architect at Maryland Shipbuilding in Dry Dock and designed the original Joseph H. Thompson, a C-4 conversion. As a World War II troop carrier vessel, Marine Robin, it made many trips across the Atlantic during the war and was involved with the Normandy invasion in 1944. In the early 1950s, after her conversion to a Great Lakes freighter, the Joseph H. Thompson was brought in sections up the Mississippi River and was completed in Chicago. Launched in 1952, the Thompson, as we call her in our family, was the Queen of the Lakes as the longest freighter in the world at 714 feet, three inches. She sailed for three decades as a traditional freighter until the mid 1980s, when she was converted to the tug barge configuration as we see today, which is powered by the tug, Little Joe. Our family still loves to see the Thompson sailing, and we have been able to see her being loaded with taconite in Marquette as well as sailing by the family cottage on Nebish Island. Our children, and now our grandchildren, refer to the Thompson as Great Daddy's boat, and we are thankful that even though not as beautiful as she was in her heyday, that the Thompson still graces the Great Lakes. <laughs>